Welcome to Okie Trails Blind Video. I would like to show you what is so unique and versatile about Okie Trail decoy bags and blind system. I have four blinds set up here. The basic blind at the bottom, the double basic blind top right, the single chair blind at the upper left, and the layout blind. All of the blinds can be built with one frame kit or you can purchase the smaller frame kit for the basic blind and then add pieces later as needed. The frame kit shown here can build any of the four blinds. It includes five panels with a camo pattern on one side and a denier 600 coating on the other, 10 straight frame sections, 6 foot sections, 6 angle sections, 1 roof peak section, a coupler, and 12 brush clips. The frame is made of high strength aluminum. It has a hook at the top and they fit together like this. Let's start with the basic blind. Insert a vertical section into the foot section and stick that into the ground about four feet from where you're going to sit. Now hang the middle eyelet of your bag or panel on the stake. Assemble another foot and straight section and insert that in either end of the panel. Stretch out the slack and insert that into the ground. Now do the same on the other side. You can make this blind as a straight wall or you can angle it into a V to wrap around you. The double basic blind is just an extension of the basic blind. You can add straight sections on top of the basic blind or in this case I'm using angle sections to angle the blind back towards me. Insert three angle sections at the top of the basic line. Hang a bag or panel from those three sections. Take two clips and pull the bag tight and clip that to the frame. The chair blind is built by building a 3 by 3 square. You start by taking a vertical section and a foot section and hanging the middle of the bag onto that. Take another foot and vertical section, take the bag, hang it, and stretch it out for the front of the blind. Another foot and vertical section should be placed at a 90 degree angle from the front of the blind. Stretch that out and stick that in the ground. Take another panel or bag and attach the ends to the corners that have already been placed. Take another foot and vertical section, attach that to the middle of the bag, stretch it out to make the last corner of the square. At this point you could stop and just add the rough section and make it a short blind. But I'm going to continue on by placing four vertical sections on each corner. Now place bags in the same order that you put the first row on. To build the roof section, add two vertical sections at the back corners of the blind. Take a panel, fold it in half, put one end on the one angle section, stretch it out and put the other end on the other angle section. The kit comes with a coupler that allows you to attach two vertical sections together to make a three foot long pole. Take this pole and attach it to the top of the two vertical sections of the back of the blind to make the roof taut. Take two brush clips and clip the bottom of the panel so it doesn't flap. And this is the one person chair blind. For the layout blind I start by setting up my chair in the direction that I want to shoot. Then take a vertical and a foot section and place that at the back corner of the chair. Take a panel, fold it in half and put one end on that stake. At the other end of the panel attach another vertical and foot section Pull the panel tight and stick it into the ground. Center your chair in between the two stakes. Take an angle and a foot section and temporarily stick it in the ground about halfway down the chair. And another angle and foot section and place that at the end of the chair. Do the same on the other side of the chair. Take a panel and hang it on the three stakes on one side of the chair. 
Once again, do the same on the other side of the chair. Take another panel, attach that to the four angle brackets at the base of the chair. Start at the middle stake and pull the panel taut and stick it firmly into the ground. Take the stake at the base of the chair, pull it taut, and stick that firmly into the ground. Do the same on the other side. Move to the head of the chair and insert angle brackets into the two vertical brackets. Now attach the roof peak section to the two angle brackets. Adjust your chair if needed. I normally use a decor bag for this step. Attach the middle tab of the decor bag to the peak of the frame. And the end of the bags can be clipped to the panels on the side. Take other clips to brush it up or to hide the frame. Typically in a layout blind, when you crawl in, you're stepping right into where you sit. With Oki Trail's layout blind, you detach one side of the top panel, crawl in, reattach the top panel, and get comfortable. Once inside, you can easily adjust the blind and add brush. These are just the four typical blinds that are used in many hunting situations. Thank you for your time and interest.